the cabinet secretary Korea Tani, who was earlier on arrested by ESCC. The arrest comes after detectives from the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission conducted a major raid in his home and that in Mar and that of Marsabit Governor Mohamud Ali. All right, uh, news currently getting into our newsroom is the lead counsel for Yatani, that is James Orengo, is currently addressing members of the media. Uh, let us let us uh, cross over, whereby it, uh, rather it is not Orengo but Eugene Wamalwa. Let's cross over and listen in to the latest. But we do not want this to be used as a tool of intimidation, a tool of harassment, and a tool of humiliation. You have just mentioned to us that you had received communication from EACC that uh, uh, Yatani was under arrest, meaning uh, already uh, information had been leaked to the media, even as they came to Yatani's residence. And even as we walked here, when we saw you, we knew you had been invited here. But if Yatani came here to assist, why all the drama? Was this just meant to humiliate him and his family? Because they have taken quite a number of items from his residence, including his phones, his wife's phones, and these are some of the matters we want to see. We are ready to cooperate. We support the war against corruption. But this must not be weaponized by the Kenya Kwanzaa government. And it should not be used as a tool of intimidation or harassment, particularly targeting those in the former regime like my colleague here and others. I think we want to leave it at that and to say that uh, anyone coming to assist this commission should do so voluntarily to support the investigation. He should not be treated like a thief. And the real thieves are out there. The thieves